What is going on guys? Static Leo here and I am back with another video. Today we are in Fort Worth, Texas. We just pulled up today Thursday for Banda Citroca show this Saturday. I decided to come a few days early. That way we don't be hassling, you know, in a hurry, in a rush. I don't like to do none of that stuff. We gotta take our time. But we made it safe last night. It was like a four hour drive from Houston. And check it out. We drove the Coyote all the way here with the lip that thing is running a lot better this truck used to be real loose from the bed so every time i would hit a bump like the whole back would go up and down a lot because it was so light but now with these wheels it made it a lot heavier so this truck rides a lot better overall these trucks come really light from the factory with these wide wheels it got heavy from the rear my boy fernando put up with his x3 also guess what we brought you guys won't imagine what we brought we brought the OBS. First show that I bring the OBS to, this thing has never been to a show, and what better show to bring it to than to Andas y Trocas. Check it out. Right now we are gonna head to the store. I'm gonna buy some rags, that way I can polish the wheels a little bit. We're gonna go get some breakfast. We're gonna head to the track, see where our spot's gonna be at, unload this thing. Forward Texas, we here. But yeah, I'm so happy with the way this truck is coming out. Definitely making a lot of progress on it. Yes, the rear's gonna go lower. We just need a custom drive shaft. You guys are saying that the tire should have been a little bigger. I agree, but this is all we could get in a one day turnaround. I was dropping off the truck just for the control arm, so my boy Roman surprised me that we could do the lift. Right away, he ordered the tire fastest tires we could get and this is what we got so this is it for now this is just the way i decided to bring it for the show it doesn't look that bad it looks cool it looks badass i like that little race stance that it has but it's definitely gonna go lower it's gonna look a lot better hey y'all stay tuned a lot more upgrades coming on the coyote i mean a lot a lot more right now i'm super like obsessed with this truck and i just want to keep doing more and more and more to it so this is a pretty nice house that we got a lot of parking as well I'll give you guys a little tour we got the swimming pool definitely jumping in later got some little chairs and stuff then you come inside what's up cut what's up cut morning that girl doing mommy duties got the cuz my boy optical what's up what's up cut you wanna give him a house tour yeah we gotta go alright here's the instructor alright over here got some rooms got three rooms over here here we got the dining room. Or here we wash clothes. Hell yeah. This is the girl's favorite room right here. And then I sleep up there with Christina Joel. Upstairs is y'all room. Right? So yeah, pretty nice little house we got. Right now we are off to get some breakfast. Then we're gonna head to the track, go and load the OBS, go get set up, all that good stuff. Right here we got my boy Fernando with the limited. Big boy screen. This whole live, huh? Shit, as fuck. Damn. I wish I had mine already, but Ford's slacking. Right, cuz? We would have had both of them. Damn. But yeah, rato sale la pinche dooley. Don't worry. Rato cae una. We ain't tripping. Big floaties. We just pulled up to Waffle House, about to get some breakfast. You guys didn't know that the perfect existed perfect parking spot yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then we got the track down there the track is right down the street so as soon as we're done eating we're gonna go over there it's grub i'm hungry y'all ready to eat or what yeah, yeah. pre-game pre-game yes yeah, sir <laughs> hell yeah what's up Just put up to the track. We got our spot right here from this barrel to this barrel. This is what we're going to set up at. So it's going to be a lit show right now. We're going to unload the OBS, start cleaning it up a little bit. And my boy Fernando's going to unload the X3. It's going to be a lit show. Make sure y'all come through. Spinners. 
ass first show. Make sure y'all come check it out. Update, I figured out the radio situation. Radio's working now. Put some drums. Right now we just pulled up to UPS to pick up all the merch for tomorrow for the show. Going down, yeah. my boy. Right now we're gonna head to the track. We're gonna have a photo shoot on the Coyote with my boy Victor Lopez with the OBS. We're gonna hang out, go check out what's going on right now. Bring you guys along. Got the Coyote right here all cleaned up. Yesterday I waxed it using our static wax. Available tomorrow at Banda y Trocas. Got it all cleaned up. Took all the bugs off of it. Front end Friday. Sir, and flakes. About to load it up right now with some merch. The Ford's about to put in work. My boy DJ playback pulled up. Ready we're to ready. make the smile tomorrow? Oh, yeah, we're ready. Hope to have merch. Ready. Some slight work for the limit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's some light. Static banner. We're right here pulling up to the racetrack. We got hella people pulling up. Get out of the car. Cruising that hoe. We just pulled up right here to the track. It's already getting lit. Everybody's pulling up. A lot more packed than yesterday. Got the whips. My boy Isma just pulled up. He's gonna be right next to us. And then down there, I think Breezy's gonna be down there. And now we're hooking the trailers and shit. My boy repping. I'm gonna have to give him a new decal because that one's like a little rip. The floaties, the floaties. The floaties you already Floaty game. Go, That's dude. the only way to go. You about to get some heat or what? Got the camera ready. Yes, sir. For the floaties. Looking mighty. Oh, looking mighty. Now nah, there's a lot of people pulling up. My boy Scarface pulling up. Everybody pulling up. Boy, I'll have to go getting the shots. Yes, sir. Everybody's pulling up today. We're gonna hang out here for a few hours today. And then tomorrow is showtime. Show showtime.
right guys so we just pulled up to the show it's showtime right now we're setting up here at the booth we got the trucks posted up dj playback setting up about to get the whole sound ready it's about to be a lit day right here we got the one day giveaway just pulled up hello it's cut yo we got the obs right here ready but yeah, just a little slight setup, nothing too crazy. We got the little fit on, something slight. DJ playback is setting up. We're gonna have this whole booming breakfast. Yeah, already. <laughs> Big question today, what happened to the coyote? Right there? 
What you think about the new windshield? I know, I seen it earlier. I can't uh, the, One of the speakers fell on it. Because it was windy. But it's no big deal. We'll switch it. Put another one. It will be straight. I finally got to meet you, bro. Yeah, thank you, bro. Nice to meet you. Got the coyote ready and everything. Just for this to happen. <laughs> and it happened early. It happened like at 10 a.m. Oh, really? So it's been like this all day. So right here we got my boy from out in America. Thanks for the support. Thanks to everybody that came through. You gotta stay positive. Yeah, you got that. I brought my canopy. I can't drive it because that's the whole. But you drove it here. I drove it here, yeah. I drove it all the way from Houston. Oh, damn. And it drove that ass. That ass ride. Even with the new axles that Roman did and everything, it rides the same. Straight. Also, the hood messed up too. I'm going to be honest with y'all, I haven't looked at the damage still right now. Like, I was just ignoring it, but... If anything, we'll just get another hood, another windshield, and it should be straight. I'm just happy to get proof, because that would have been a big problem. Good money. Well, guys, it's time to go home. Bandas y Trocas was a success, even though we had some bad things that happened. But it's all right. It's part of the game. It's not really a big issue. Quick fix, just the windshield. Hood got a little bit dented, but I'm sure it could get repaired. And I was going to take it already to get recolor match. So I'm going to just drop it off at the shop. I'm not going to stress it at all. Get that windshield replaced. We are going to be replacing it with the original one, of course. Truck's going to look exactly how it was. And then we're going to get everything resprayed. Get the rear resprayed. The back bumper has some scratches, too. Yeah, it has, like, some scratches right here. I don't know from where. So the truck already has these little things, you know, here and there. Things that happen, normal wear. So we're going to get all that taken care of. They have some bad ones right here. We're going to get all that taken care of. And of course, we're going to keep upgrading this truck a lot more. There's a lot more upgrades coming to this truck. I'm almost done with the outside. And once I'm done with the outside, uh, once I get it dropped where I want to, I probably want it to sit like right here. But we need to get that drive shaft. Once I get it dropped and everything that the outside is done, all recolor match, we're going to go crazy on the interior. We're gonna do that center console, big screen. My dash did crack a little bit now that this happened. So I guess that we're just gonna go ahead and throw in like a platinum dash, like the leather wrapped one and everything, just to replace it. And it's, it's real windy out here. Now for those of you that don't know what happened to the truck, the speaker fell on it. That's why, cause it was so windy. It wasn't really nobody's fault. There was nobody to blame. My tent pushed the speaker and then the speaker fell on the truck. So now we know for next time not to put the speakers close to the trucks everything in its own space you just learn along the way you know life teaches you life's a teacher we got the obs right here we're driving it all the way to houston so i hope it makes it i have big faith in it this truck runs like a brand new truck everything's on point so right now i'm gonna rinse it real quick getting ready to take off the obs as well is gonna be getting a lot more upgrades i want to take that plate holder off but i gotta buy a new bumper because that one has holes so i gotta change all the trims as well all these trims Y'all stay tuned, we got a lot more coming. Thanks a lot to everyone that came by the booth yesterday, picked up some merch, took a picture, said what's up. It's always a great time to meet you guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.